Boy, I've been slipping. I've been slipping the last couple days. I've been missing out. I just came across a video with my main man. I'm talking about my main man, Mr. Derrick James. <laughs> What's up, Dallas? Derrick goes on the record talking about Errol Spence and Clean Boston Program. Oof. He has responded to a question about Errol and Rowland, and now I'm going to respond. Let me play the audio, and I will pause and respond accordingly. All right, now I'm going to stop it right there. Whew. Now, Derek James just went on the record saying that Errol Spence is doing year-round testing with USADA. That he is paying for year-round testing with USADA. Now, I responded to a comment on the video about this earlier. All right. If Errol Spence is doing year-round testing with USADA, then why would he not enroll in the Clean Boston program, which is free? Why would he not enroll in the Clean Boston program when he was given a number three ranking by the WBC if he is testing year-round with USADA? If he has been testing year-round with USADA since he was an amateur, since 2009, according to what Derrick James has said, you know, why would he not enroll in the Clean Boston program? He said, Derrick James is on the record saying that Errol Spence uh, was not ranked by the WBC. So why would he enroll? He was ranked by the WBC, Derrick. He was ranked number three by the WBC. That has been documented. It is out there. Anybody can search and find it for themselves. All right? He was dropping the rankings because he did not enroll the program. So, uh, yes, he was ranked, Derrick. You're wrong. All right? Now, if he is, if he is supposedly testing year-round with USADA and paying for it, why would he not enroll in a free testing program mandated by the WBC? Hmm? There's no excuses, man. If you're clean, you have nothing to hide, you enroll in that program and you test. He did not test. He did not enroll. He got dropped. That bullshit statement he gave on the record before the Kell Brook fight saying that uh, that he got dropped and he did not test because uh, because he wasn't in the top 10. You know, it's top 15 and he was in there and he did not enroll. Talking about what um, Al Heyman's guy Brad was telling him, you know, about, about he, he didn't have to take the test. You know, well, if he is testing year round, he clean, why would he have an issue taking the test? You know? But let's go back, Derek. Before the K.L. Brook fight, you did an interview with Dante. You went on the record, which I documented in the video on here. You said that Errol Spence was testing USADA while he was an amateur. That was your quote. That was your exact words. He did that while he was an amateur. And I responded saying that he is no longer an amateur. He is a pro. He did that as an amateur. This is the pros. That's different. So if Errol Spence was testing USADA year-round as a pro, if, if he's been testing year-round for almost 10 years, why would you have said that he did it as an amateur then? Why would you not say, hey, he did it as an amateur and he is doing it now. He's paying for it for, for himself, you know. That's not what you said, Derek. That's not what you said, all right. Now let's go to Errol Spence. Ness and some other guys asked Errol Spence about the clean boxing program before the Lamont Peterson fight. Errol Spence said that he had been using USADA uh, for his last few fights. Let me repeat. Errol Spence said he had been using USADA his last few fights. He did not say, uh, I'm being tested by USADA year-round. That's not what Errol Spence said. Also, in a recent interview, uh, what, a couple days ago, leading up to the Ocampo fight, he was asked about the clean boxing program, and once again, he said that uh, USADA had been testing him for his last four or five fights. That was, those were his words. He did not say, USADA is testing me year-round. They come and knock on my door any time of the year, morning, day, night, sign up for a fight or not. 
That's not what Errol Spence said then or recently. All right. So I'm not buying this uh, USADA testing uh, Errol Spence uh, year round. You know, I'm not buying it. You know, show it, show it to the public. Show us documentation. You know, have have you sort of put out a statement saying that Errol Spence is uh, being tested year round? Hell, I may contact you sort of myself and ask them if they are testing uh, Errol Spence year round. And if I get the uh, response, I will post it for everybody to see. All right. Um, but yes, as I as I said, if he is testing year round with you saw it, and he is testing clean, then why would he? Have not signed up with the clean Boston program in 2017. Why is he still not signed up, man? What is he waiting on? You know, why are you complaining about all he's not ranked? He has nothing to do with that. If he is testing already, he should have no problem enrolling in a free testing program, man. Now let's continue. For him to fight Sean Porter and Daniel Garcia, he'll be doing it, but he's already doing it anyway. Think about this. He does it all. He, he, he does it by himself. He pays for it himself. Right? To do it year round. So people talk and whatever. It's all speculation. I mean, men don't talk like that's a female trait. I mean, they talk about that's what spe Jay -Z speculate to, to, to make up these hypotheses. Uneducated guesses. You know? Mm -hmm. And it's, it's crazy. So, this is not all. I always say, they yeah, don't speculate on fights. All right. I think that's about all I need to hear, Derek. <clears throat> this last thing I need to respond to. Hell, I feel that comment was directed at me, talking about uh, female traits. Um, don't we all talk about fights on YouTube? Fights and fighters. People make speculations all the time. You know, he's talking about uh, uneducated guesses and all this and that. Every video that I've done on Errol Spence in regards to the Clean Boston Program, uh, before the Kell Brook fight, I did one on the Clean Boston Program. I talked about his statement that he went on the record and said. Uh, I talked about the fact that he had been dropped from the rankings. That's a fact. Anybody can find that. I had links attached to that video. I did the video called Why No One Should Fight Errol Spence. Uh, Nothing but facts in that video. Anybody can look them up and check for themselves. Everything that I said in that video can be researched and found for themselves. So it's not an uneducated guesses. It is uh, facts and research, Derek. Sorry, but uh, they are facts, man. And uh, the fact of the matter is, man, uh, if this guy is clean, has nothing to hide, he should enroll in that program now. He should have enrolled over a year and a half ago, man. And it's not my fault that uh, other people are opening their eyes and uh, catching on to this, man, I was a bit of a lone wolf. Uh, and some of my su subscribers here uh, were on the team. You know, we were kind of lone wolves for a while there, man. But as time has gone on in the last few weeks and months, you know, the noise is picking up more, man. People are talking about it more to the point to where people are asking you about this uh, right now to your face. You know, a year and a half ago, nobody was talking about this uh, to you. Or a year ago but now people are questioning you questioning Spence and uh, yes I'm going to uh, stand proud and poke my chest out because I was the one pointing out man people coming on here oh you you pulled you bringing up ghost stories you know you uh you know you just you know it's not an issue you don't want talking about this you know all the things people were saying now what has happened you know Canelo failed the test you know that fight got canceled all right WBC uh, weeks ago released uh, they, they released a statement saying that it, it listened to every guy who did not enroll in the program since the uh, program has been uh, instituted and Errol Spence name was on was in that statement you know that's a fact Derek you know that's not an uneducated guess or some hypothesis you're talking about and that's a fact man they gave the guy a ranking he was ranked Derek you know you saying he was not ranked he was ranked, you know, your own fighter, your number one guy, your star student. He was ranked, you know, you should know this, you know, check for yourself. He was ranked. He didn't enroll. He got dropped, you know. So I'm not buying that uh, Errol Spence is uh, testing you saw the year round. You know, I'm not. Uh, as, as I said, Errol Spence himself went on the record saying that he tests you saw for his last four or five fights. 
He did not say USADA has been testing me year round my entire career or for the past uh, nine years. All right. That's not what he said, Derek. So um, I know I'm not buying this. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think you said partially he tests year round. You know, testing eight weeks leading up to the fight, that's what I'm going against, man. I want year round tests and sign up for a fight or not. You know, all the guys he's calling out want to fight Crawford, Garcia. Uh, Thurman, Porter, all these guys, Jeff Horn, all these guys enrolled the subject to year-round random testing. Sign up for a fight or not. You know, and this guy's not, man. He needs to enroll in a subject to year-round testing. You know. And hell, even if he was paying USADA for uh, year-round testing, uh, how transparent is that, man? He's paying USADA. Couldn't they keep the results private? Couldn't they keep those results between you guys? You know. The clean box program and bottle is going to be released to everybody because that is WBC program, you know. And the IBF they need to institute their program. What's taking them so long, you know? So I saw this video and yes, I had to respond, uh, and I will respond in the future to uh, anything else that they say uh, in regards to this man, you know. Show us the proof, Derek. You know, H have you saw to put out a statement saying that they are testing uh, spins year round? All right. Let's see that statement, and then, then I will step down. I will back off this, uh, off this stance. But if you saw does not put out a statement saying that they are testing uh, Arrow Spence year round, I'm not buying it, man. If he's testing year round, he can enroll in the clean boxing program uh, through WBC. They will not cost him a dime. Hell, he does not does not even have to pay a fee to enroll. Just submit the paperwork, print it off off your computer, and, and turn that shit in, man. You know. So I think that's it, guys. Uh, I had to uh, respond. Uh, oh, and also, Derek, let me say this, you know. Why you talking about, you know, the female trait, right? You know. <laughs> well, you're talking about the, the female trait, right? You know, I've noticed a bit of a change in attitude from you, man. You know, before the Kill Brook fight, man, you was talking a lot of shit, man. You was talking a lot of shit, man. A lot of shit about Kell Brook, a guy who uh, who was undefeated when he came to America to fight Sean Porter and when he won his world title. You know, said a lot of bad things about Kell Brook, man. Talking about he was protected and coddled, how they built his record up, how he all the guys on his resume had all these losses and all this and that. Did a lot of talking, Derek. You know, and you want to talk about feminine ways with things that you were saying about Kell Brook, a world champion. A guy who had, uh, you know, who had a, a hell of a record, man. Had the balls to go up and fight Golovkin for all his middleweight titles. You said all these things about Kell Brook to the point to where I had to look into who you were, man. Say, who was Derrick James? Who was this guy talking all this shit about Kell Brook? I never heard this guy before. And then when I found out who you were, you had fought pretty much half of the guys in your career had more losses than wins, man. You know, and you were adding up all the losses of Kell Brook's opponents, and you uh, talked about ran Kell Brook down the way he did, a guy who went on to win, hell, a world champion undefeated in another country. When we looked into your background and saw that you went over three in title fights in your career, four title belts, three title fights, you lost them all, you know, and you ran Kell Brook down saying that he's good, not great. Now you're saying he's great, you know, but, but then you said he's just good, you know. And you want to talk about feminine ways with the way you did kill Brook as opposed to the way your career went, you know? I don't think so, man. You should have been praising Kill Brook. You should have been putting Kill Brook over saying this guy was the best wealth to weight in the world. And then when you guys won the fight, then you could you could have said that uh Arrow's the best now because he beat the best guy. But you didn't say that, did you? You know, you ran you ran Kill Brook down, man. Like he didn't even belong in the ring with uh Arrow Spence. So uh, you know, now if somebody wanted to they could use that against you, saying, well, who did he beat? Kell Brook was nobody. He beat a guy uh, that, that fought a bunch of guys uh, who had lost on their uh, resumes uh, in their career. So, yeah, let's let's uh, talk about the uh, the uh, feminine ways, uh, Derek, and the way that you act leading up to the Kell Brook fight. But ever since then, ever, ever since I, you know, made my videos, yes, I, I'm standing behind them. I have not pulled them down and will not pull them down. You know, ever since I made my videos and I exposed the things that you said and how you acted, how you disrespected Marvin Hagler, saying that uh, uh, well, Errol Spence was uh, more skilled and more polished, 
all this bullshit, disrespecting the all-time legend Marvin Hagler, when Errol Spence had not faced a former or present champ uh, when you made that statement, you know, a guy who still has not had, what, 25 fights in his career total, and, uh, you know, you disrespected the legend like that, I think that was pretty pretty uh, feminine myself, Derek. You know, the way you disrespected Marvin Hagler. So one of my more popular videos, you know, the arrogance of Team Spence, still online, you know, tons of hits. So, uh, yeah, Derek. You hadn't uh, exactly been too manly in some of the things that you've said and done uh, over the past year and a half or so, you know. And, uh, you know, my, my stance is not changing, man. It's not changing. This guy's clean and rolling clean by some program, man. And rolling clean by some program, you know. And, uh, you know, I, I feel like I'm leaving something out, man, but, uh, you know, my stance has not changed, man. Not changed. It's not going to change. Uh, talking about, you know, fem feminine ways. But but now, you know, now you're being more mature. Now you, you, you're walking a straight line ever since I, you know, said the things that I said about you and went on the record, you know. Now he's, he's being more humble when uh, uh, Bo Mack said what he said about tearing Errol Spence a new asshole. Boy, his response was mighty, mighty quiet, and mighty, mighty tame. Hell, Dante was was sitting there waiting for for some juicy uh comeback from you, and and Dante was dozing off at his computer, man. You know, so uh, yeah, you've changed. Uh, you you've been humbled. That's a fact. Everybody knows it, and. Uh, You know, my stance is not changing, man. You know, have you sought to put out some proof that Errol Spence is being tested year-round? And uh, then uh, I'll come on and comment. But uh, until then, he needs to enroll in the Clean Boston program. Thanks for watching.